give the Adventures of Lolo a Ren and Stimpy makeover, and you get one of the coolest iOS games I've played since Feed Me Oil. And yes, the formula from which coolness is derived is that simple. Just add some magic nose goblins, you idiots! This is Gazoontite on the iPad. From the minds and nostrils of the good folks at Konami, Gazoontite is a puzzle game with a deliciously disgusting premise. Blow your nose and watch your enemies eat the discharge. You play as a tiny green pig who evidently needs some fexofenadine. This poor little piglet sneezes all over the place, a condition for which he is amply teased by all the other pigs in town. Of course, after the monsters come and all those callous little swine need rescuing, this little booger blower goes from the butt of the joke to the hero of the day. <laughs> Turns out the monsters have but one discernible weakness. They like to eat mucus. This is obviously very good news for our viridescent companion, as it also serves as the basis for the game. Gazoontite is a series of puzzles with very simple objectives. Lure the monsters into traps with your nose liquids, clear the board of monsters, and, and maybe find a tissue. But uh, I guess, to be honest, the Ren and Stimpy reference Kind of thin. Aside from the whole boogers thing, there isn't much to warrant that comparison. I just really like the Ren and Stimpy show. But the Lolo comparison is actually valid. Every puzzle screen has the same objective. Your goals are always in plain sight, and of course the puzzles come from figuring out how to accomplish them. But like any great puzzle game, Gazoontheit is easier said than done, and it's not even easy to say. So you can trick the monsters in a variety of ways, most of which involve the enigmatic residue you eject from your nasal cavity. You'll also find some items and places in your environment that serve as power-ups. So for example, if you stand among the overgrown flowers that are scattered around certain boards, the excessive pollen gives you special super snot that goes further and uh... Ugh, this is, this is disgusting. Gazoontheit also has a little replay value as well. There are star fruit hidden in each level, and the more you collect, the better your score. But the thing about those fruit is that they're very fragile. Enemies crush them, your snot, like, dissolves them. Ugh, I can only imagine what that stuff does to your stomach lining. These, these monsters are crazy. So they're solving the puzzle, and then they're solving the puzzle and nabbing all the fruit. Gazoontite isn't easy to begin with, and its 40 levels offer even greater difficulty for those interested in collecting all the fruit, doing it as fast as possible, and maxing out their scores. And not only is the gameplay really addictive and clever, but Gazoontite is also gorgeous. The graphics have this hand-painted look, almost like an animated watercolor. It's just a really pretty game, and surprisingly, it's more charming than gross. I mean, I don't know about you, but I've never seen a sneeze that adorable, let alone from a pig. And that's all great news, but this is even better. You can get this game for a limited time offer of just 99 cents on the App Store. Needless to say, that's an absolute steal for a game this awesome. It's a fantastic puzzler that oozes style. It's Gesundheit, a German word that literally means, holy shit, this game rolls. <laughs>